Judge Jones, for sight. I'll have you seated. Mr. Garrison? As you know, I have charged the man who sits in front of you, Jack Ruby, as part of a conspiracy to assassinate the President of the United States. We have gathered much information and have strong reason to believe that not only Jack Ruby, but Lee Harvey Oswald, as well as a number of other men, were all involved in a conspiracy instigated by the CIA in order to put President Kennedy out of office permanently. As you know, on the 2nd of November, 1963, as the president's motorcade was traveling down the street, as stated by the Warren report, three shots were fired. Objection! I can assure you that the Warren report is a very accurate document, and that... Overruled. Mr. Wilson, please allow Mr. Garrison to continue his statement. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying, the Warren report states that there were three shots fired that day. I am here to prove to you and everyone else here that that is completely and utterly impossible. Objection. Start with the accusations, Mr. Garrison. Please continue with the facts. To prove that there were more than three shots fired, we will take a look at the Zapruder film shot by Abraham Zapruder, a home video. Watch. <gasps> Goodness gracious me. According to the Warren Commission, it is impossible for there to be more than three shots in the eight seconds established in the Zapruder film. So there are three bullets. However, if we take into account the third wounded man, the first two being the president and the governor by the name of James Teague, who was wounded by a piece of fragment while standing under the triple overpass, we see that there has to be more than three. But just to play devil's advocate, let's say one of the three shots hit Mr. Teague. Another was the fatal headshot. That's two bullets. This leaves one bullet to account for the seven wounds in Kennedy and Connolly. But rather than admit to a conspiracy, the Warren Commission decided to endorse what we have come to know as the magic bullet theory. In short, the theory had the bullet leaving and entering both Kennedy and Connolly's bodies numerous times, only to end up in a pristine condition on Connolly's sickbed. This has to be one of the most embarrassing excuses for an explanation that the CIA has ever come up with. Objection. As a CIA agent myself, I can assure you that all the findings of the Warren report are overruled. Will you sit down, Mr. Wilson? Mr. Garrison has every right to question this ludicrous theory, even if it didn't come from the CIA. Mr. Garrison, please continue. Right. So if you conclude that the magic bullet theory could not be responsible for all those wounds, then you have to conclude that there was at least one more shot and one more gunman. And if there was a second rifleman, then there was a conspiracy, which we believe involves the accused, Jack Ruby. Objection. Sustain. Get out with the evidence, Mr. Garrison. We have 51 witnesses, gentlemen of the jury, including Abraham Zapruder, saying that they heard and saw shots coming from the grassy knoll to the right in front of the president. Gene Hill, standing right next to the president's motorcade, said that she saw someone fire from behind the fence on the grassy knoll. When she ran to see if they had caught the man, she, she was detained by the Secret Service agents and told not to tell anyone what she had seen. All this less than 20 minutes after the assassination. When the Warren Commission came out, she told me that they had lied about everything she said. Objection. This evidence has nothing to do with what they are accusing Jack Ruby. Mr. Garrison, if this is going anywhere, please, get on with what you call this trial for today. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Now, we interviewed a Mrs. Julia Mercer, who told us that she saw Mr. Ruby by the overpass that day. The day in question before he shot Oswald. 
However, when she identified him for the CIA the next day, the Warren report said that she could not recognize which of the suspects was the one she had seen. So you see, in this way, the Warren report altered two different testimonies. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Garrison, if you have any actual witnesses, I suggest now you present them. Very well. I call David Ferry to the stand. 